Hey, welcome back to the Hit Survive channel. So we're going to be doing a 93 millimeter project, something I've been planning to do for quite a while now, because most of my projects have been the 91 millimeter or 58 millimeter. So this is the 93 millimeter uh, Farmer X, which is the largest 93 millimeter, as far as I know. So it has the scissors, the saw, the large blade, the, um, the reamer, and the cam bottle opener. Of course, nothing on the back since it is a 93 millimeter. All right, so what we're going to be doing we're going to be adding a Spyderco blade. And so this is the S30V model. It's got some nicer steel on it. So we're gonna be adding that to this um, build. And for the scales, we're gonna be using this copper set from Work Triad. I like the way that he mills his uh, scales in that tin can with the uh, covering on top. It's like a small little hank there. So these are copper scales. And it's kinda of got like ALOX pattern here. And so, Really nicely done, likely he did that. And also we're going to be using some uh, basic torque screws and pivot barrels. The pivot barrels are from the Custom Forge. And so we'll be doing that, and that way we'll be able to assemble this with torque screws. And the torque screws and the uh, washers are here inside with the scales. So we have our washers, and we have the actual little torque screws. All right, so what we'll do next is we're gonna go ahead and start Disassembly, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna be using three millimeter drill bit to drill out along the sides, and then a 2.5 millimeter here in the middle. And we're gonna need one more spring, also from a 93 millimeter. That's gonna go for the Dragonfly Blade. Alright, so I finished up the modifications to the Dragonfly Blade and to the spring. And so, basically that's the only modifications done actually to the tool set. Alright, and so now we can go ahead, we can begin assembly. Take these out of here. Again, I really like the way that he meld this. It's going to have two copper. And these washers go next to the tools. So the pivot barrels from the Custom Forge do not need to be, uh, the tools will not need to be drilled out. It's the original size. So that's nice. I know a lot of the Pivot barrels that are available, you have to drill out the tools for them to fit. But in this case, we're not going to have to do that. All 
So that's where those washers go, right here on this pivot, and the pivot barrels. All right, so at this point you'll see this. the tools are basically still loose and the, uh, the scale is going to actually provide the last needed uh, amount of actual support. I like the 91 millimeter where the, the liners are mostly providing support. The 93 millimeter, the scales actually provide the actual like skeletal uh, support. So we need a bit of leverage on this so I can't push that in. All right, so basically what I did is I used the side of my table to get some leverage and push on that scale. Put this in here before we lose it. All right, so I finished up the kind of the, the fine adjustments uh, to this. Just need some tightening on the torque screws. Of course, I oiled um, oiled the tools, what pivoting areas right there. And so this is how it turned out. So the Spydeco is accessible with your thumb. So no play at all in it. And what we really want to see is the snap. And so that snaps nicely. And if you remember during assembling, the scissors were very loose also. And so like I said though, after we put the scale on, it provides the, uh, basically the structural support for the knife. And you'll see that it's nice and snappy. Same thing for the rest of the tools. All right, so that is all for this build. It really did turn out to be an international one. And with the scales being from Germany, uh, the pivot barrels from Russia, or DE Custom Forge, I actually ordered the uh, the Farmer X from Switzerland directly. And so yeah, parts from all over the world. So anyways, let me know what you think about it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.